Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to another Perfect World video. I'm just going to do a quick run of Judgment Flow Silver, just to show you what it's like. We got a pretty OP squad I think, so it should be quite a quick video. And the point of this is just to give like, I, I haven't really searched for it but I'm not sure if there's any, or at least most Perfect World videos don't have commentary with them at the moment. And I think that hearing someone explain what they're thinking and what's going on is a lot better than just watching a video of what's going on. And because of the frame rate in here, I've had to put the graphics and uh, the mob countdown because it's really laggy in here. I really need to start optimizing this game for my computer. I don't think I've done enough to work with it. Um, there's not too many differences from normal Blow Silver Palace, uh, except that the bosses tend to just be able to one hit you if they want to. <laughs> uh, Drake's pretty similar. Try and keep my buffs up at all times. You might notice that uh, I've got a very nice 28,000 health now. Uh, I got my next primal level, which means I could get my next HP buff. Uh, it took me up to 22.4k unbuffed. And I am so buzzing for it. <laughs> it is awesome. I don't know if this squad's going to be fast enough to nuke the bosses, but I guess we could try. So normally what you do with Drake and JFSP is one person needs to kill these mobs that add up to a certain amount. And I think it's like every 30 seconds Drake shouts out like Mercury Force must equal 2 plus 5 or something like that. So then you have to kill the things that add up to 2 plus 5. It's probably higher than that. <laughs> but that's what you do normally. Some squads that are just really overpowered will just take the boss down easy peasy. Like one spark and he's done. But we'll see if that's the case here. I'm not sure if it... It might be, but it's... Yeah. So it's going to be. So if you're in just an OP squad like this, you can just breeze through it, taking down easy peasy. He doesn't really do much things differently. Um, if you're not really that tanky, you want to watch out for his AoE circle. Or that will probably kill you. He used to kill me when I didn't have my rank 9 gear. Actually, that's a lie. I've, I've got rank 8 recast, and I used to be able to tank it like a boss. <laughs> Even with that. I don't know if I could do that in judgement mode, but... Just be careful if you haven't got much defence or HP. Obviously, everyone knows to avoid this big, huge boulder. Big, huge boulders don't really mean good things in games, ever. I have never seen that title before. Supreme Lord of Destruction. Sounds very cool. However, I'm a big fan of my war avatars. As you probably know, in just about every single video I mention S-Packs or some shit like that. <laughs> um, so I'll stick with mine. Toad is quite different. Um, he tends to summon these adds, which can really destroy a party. Like I've seen a full squad of very decently geared people just go down because they've let the adds get out of control.
So sometimes if you've got a barb who's not very decently geared, it might be a good idea to swap to, swap to something um, less powerful. This is a good example of what you need to kill. You need to kill these coins quick. Well, not quick, but you just need to kill them. <laughs> I was like, keep turning you into stupid toads, and it's very annoying. The reason I'm not attacking Toad at the moment is because they've obviously got it under control, and in my opinion, it's always good to have at least one person focusing on these, because they can really cause some issues. Typically, you want to have one person focusing on the axes. You want to stay away from those golden coins. Like, it tells you to, but you really want to, because they will one-hit you, regardless of what you are, how much health, how much defense you have. That was a very good example of Toad. He's really not that problematic, to be honest. You just got to have a good tank and watch your aggro. You don't want to, like, spam crowd control skills on them or anything. It's good to do judgment mode FSP. It's got some good rewards, especially in regards to star chart. I think you get like five extra coins at the end of it as well, compared to the normal one. And if you're in a good squad, and there's normally a fair amount of people in a squad that can at least carry you, it's not that difficult, it doesn't take too long. On the Blossom Succubus, you want to... She does a few things. She does the, obviously, the standard where you have to run or all stand together. Um, but she also does a new move which summons this thing called an Envy Blossom and god I might do this quickly which will just like wreck your team for sure <laughs> that was insane I haven't seen that done for a while oh, we even got a book drop how nice is that yeah so you want to stay away from that Envy Blossom Um, that will one hit you. She also does this thing where she summons Guardian Blossoms and deals out like, massive damage if you're not standing near them. So you just gotta be aware, really. It's probably not something you'd wanna dual. As in, like, uh, dual boot. Because it's quite difficult to focus on all the elements that they've added into this compared to normal FSFP, where you can just kind of, you know, you could probably do it while you're sleeping or something, it's just so easy. <laughs> oh, oh yes, I got them. I had the quest for that. <laughs> so I'll take chill down now. Because I like to just a uh, APS these mobs. Uh, where's then chill? So I always do this one because typically the highest physical damage dealers are on the ones where they have the anti APS um, buff up. So I like to just stay on this one. These don't really pose any problems, but as far as I'm aware, um, I've seen it a few times, if you aggro them before that, well, like one of them or all of them has a chance to walk down the stairs, um, they would just like one hit the squad for some really strange reason. It's very hard to reproduce, but I've seen it happen a couple times, so it's best to just wait in the middle for them all to walk down the stairs. 
obviously might cause some issues for yourself. No one wants that. Rushi is something very different. He, um... He summons a Chi Crystal every so often. And what you need to do is stand in it. You need to hit and then stand in it or he will mess you up big time. It'll pop up a bubble like this. And then you want to stand in it. Or you will get wrecked. Then of course you want to make sure you're using your chi when you need to. I'm going to use dead and just so, don't die. <laughs> it's probably a bad example of <laughs> how a typical run goes because this is a really OP squad. <laughs> this is the fastest squad I've been in by far. Very clean as well. No one's died or anything like that, which is incredible. You normally see a few deaths of people like not paying attention or trying to play on two accounts. So... <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, what you want to do here, this boss is kind of a, a cheese, <laughs> really, because no one kills it properly. The Sins have got this skill called uh, Death Chain, and basically when you aggro this boss, a mob spawns on top of the platform up there where you can see one of the Sins is standing, and it hits them for just ridiculous amounts. So what you go, you go stand up there, use Deadham, someone will HF and everything, and easy, one shot. So that is a uh, judgement mode FSP run. It's not really always that easy, um, but hopefully I've given you a, a few tips and you can see what it's like. Maybe you're just about to go into running this and you want to see a run. Um, so if this helped you, please uh, leave a like or a comment. Uh, if you would like some more tips, just write in the comments and I'll get back to you because um, I do this quite often. And thanks for watching guys. Peace out.